spend a lot of money on our hair. We want to save you some money. And the hairstylist, of course, they all have the answer as to how we can save a buck or two. So, Grace, uh, what are your tips for how we can save some money on our hair costs? Okay, so every season, do not change your hair color with the season, right? right. You know, don't say, okay, I'm going to be black this one, and then I want to be blonde. And then I want to be redhead, and then I want to be, you know, blonde or black. Like, yeah. just don't do that. You know, keep your hair color consistent because it'll keep you out of the hair salons, right? Mm -hmm. um, that's number one. Uh, number two, I would say that um, the most important thing that you can, you can do also is remember that loyal clients also will get perks like bang trims. Right. right and they'll get like deep treatments like my clients I baby them right and I'll say okay this hair is really dry let's let's put a little something something in there get some hydration back and some shine back right so normally things that we would have charged for because they're so loyal and they're coming so often yeah I do that as an extra perk so you right? can get the free deep treatment you can get the free bang cut when it yeah. comes to the um, the color you might want not want to go as drastic as blonde to black but if you do want highlights you're saying you don't have to get a full head. That's right. The whole time. Just That's do right. a little bit, That's right? That's a little bit. Like sometimes what, one of the things that I do quite often is in between a full head of highlights, a client will come in and um, I don't want to have the outgrowth of the highlights and the color. Like they just come in for their roots. I yeah. put a few little highlights on top. Yeah. Right? Just to keep it going. Right. right? And that really stretches out the, the, the amount of time that they would spend in the salon and also the, the cost. It keeps it quite down. Really good. Yeah. Okay. Because yeah. color is expensive. Yes. You're spending a lot of money there. Yeah. Okay. Philippe has some tips uh, for us. Some of us might not be using our products properly at home. Oh, we're overusing them. We're overusing them. Overusing them. them. I, I see it in our own salon. Uh, my staff, they you know, five, six pumps, the shampoo spilling over their hand. It goes down the drain. Mm. And I know we're doing this. I, I mean, I'm guilty of doing it in the shower, too. I want to get that nice, big, sudsy and cover myself in foam. <laughs> and and it, it's, it's, you're, you're <laughs> wasting, yeah. You're Is wasting that how it goes? Yeah. That's you're how you roll. You're wasting products. You're wasting right. products. A little goes a long way. And products are very expensive. Mm -hmm. You know, and. For sure. You know, you don't really want to cheapen on your services. I mean, luxury services, hair is an accessory that you can't remove. It's not like costume jewelry. Mm -hmm. You could remove yours. Okay, I can get rid of you mine yours, <laughs> whenever but, I'm ready. But, <laughs> but, but you know, it, 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 if you get good quality, it should last a long time. Yeah. It's not like costume jewelry where you can wear it once or twice and then just throw it away. Take care of it. A good stylist will help you take care of it, recommend mm -hmm. the right things. And you can get hair services every three to four months. It doesn't have to be every sixth, you know, especially if you're not going with a short look. Mm -hmm. Longer okay. hair is lower maintenance. Just be a little bit smart about, uh, you know, how you're using those services um, at the salon for sure. Absolutely. Um, Bill, you suggest that maybe you focus on at-home hair treatments? Yep. Or are you, you going to tell us don't ever do it ever? No, 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 no. You there can do are, it? No, this is, I, th I find this fascinating because uh, hair treatments in salons are either protein-based treatments mm -hmm. for weak hair or moisturizing treatments for dry hair. Yeah. So, what, what has protein in it? Egg whites, avocado, all of those things have been used for centuries as hair treatments. You take an avocado, you mush it up, you can put a little mayonnaise in it if you want. I don't like mayonnaise, but, <laughs> you know, and, and, it, and put it on your hair. Put it down your ponytail where your ends are starting to get a little broken, yeah. a little bit, you know, a little rough. Moisturizing treatments, what culture in the world has not put oil in their hair and on their bodies for centuries? Right. Whether it's coconut oil or, or olive oil, it doesn't mm. matter where you go in the world, you will find people slathering their bodies in oil and their hair in oil, and you feel magnificent afterwards, mm. right? That's, everybody's got olive oil in their, in their, and of course coconut oil the last couple of years oh, has just been, been everywhere. I also have a suggestion though, because I do think hair salons are notoriously understaffed. So if you have a child you could put to work, <laughs> maybe you could trade your salon <laughs> for labor and services. There you go. I always need somebody to shampoo. Yes. So I'll blow dry your hair, for, you know, in yes. exchange. Okay, well, that's a great well, idea. Such great <laughs> tips, Bill. Thank you for that.